hi guys welcome back to testy makusa and today we are making fumboa a congolese vegetable with peanut butter this is just a part one there will be a part two coming as well please don't forget to like the video subscribe and share to your family and friends and also let me know of your thoughts regarding the video for the fumboa today i have one bell pepper one onion one prawn cube two fresh tomatoes um, I have tomato paste as you can see guys normally I use the tomato paste in tin but I didn't have it today so I'm going to use 250 grams of, of uh, the sachet one but I'm gonna use one and a half of it a baby hake three of them nicely clean fresh and then I have my peanut butter my oil and the main ingredient the fumboa Now guys, this is optional. I like boiling my fumbo first before um, start cooking it. I will boil this, throw the water, then start with the clean water. But it depends from one person to the other. You know, um, most of this fumbo come from home. So when it comes, it comes with a lot of residue and stuff like that. So uh, to be on the safe side, I like boiling it first because some fumbo when you cook it directly, it will turn to be sour so you don't really want that to be on the safe side i like boiling it first throw the first water and start with the clean water just put enough water and you start with the clean water Guys, remember I boiled the fish. I'm gonna use that water to cook uh, the fumboa. Mash the fish and put inside the fumboa. I don't know how some people cook fumboa. The secret of fumboa is in peanut butter. If you want your fumboa to be fumbolicious, guys, add more peanut butter because fumboa is about peanut butter. Personally, I like my fumboa to drown in peanut butter. <laughs> That's how I like it. So fumboa without peanut butter, it just leaves. I'm going to encourage or advise each and anyone watching this video when it comes to fumboa do not be afraid to add more and more peanut butter as you can see I have been adding until it become a little bit thicker that's how you want it because remember it still need to boil and the peanut butter needs to cook so add the peanut butter as much as you can when it becomes a little bit thicker that's when you stop you add maybe one or two cups of water low heat and let it boil just one of my tips how i check that my peanut butter is enough i normally check it at the back of my wooden spoon when it sticks then i will know that the peanut butter is enough no more adding
ladies and gentlemen remember to cook or to boil your fumboa on a very low heat you want the peanut butter to cook and you do not want it to burn at the same time so put it on a very low heat and forget about it let it cook until it is done when do you know that your fumboa it is done when the water reduces and the oil is floating above that's when you know that the fumboa it's done